been uh, snow at the River Ooze in Selby, and I just wanted to discuss for viewers of my uh, YouTube channel something called the River Ooze incident that happened to me back in the day in 2001. I think it was about January, February time when it happened, and it involved two aircraft that were on a routine uh, training flight, night flying around the area. Now, what happened is, on this tree line here on the day in question, it was a winter's evening and I was out walking, and I came up here just to see if I could actually spot any, uh, any UFOs at the time. Now, on this tree line here, just in the distance, and I don't know whether you can just see it clearly, dear viewer, uh, there was an aircraft, he was a good three miles out, and then right over me was another aircraft who was following him, just routinely, they were routinely circling and just sauntering along. All of a sudden, in this field, uh, just over the tree line, as we can see there, there was this great big flash of light, and I mean a flash. And then what happened next was the aircraft in the distance, I don't know whether you could just see where that uh, water tower is, I don't know whether the camera can just make it out there, possibly about that distance, the aircraft, the tornado, hit its afterburners and gave chase to something. Now what happened next was quite spectacular because it followed a pattern like this. The UFO and the tornado jet were flying level with each other. Uh, it was quite a spectacular sight to see. They were flying along with each other and both passed over this building here, which is known as the British Oil and Cake Mills, or was at the time, it's now known as the Hovis Factory. And they flew over that building there, the UFO disappeared, and the tornado jet flew on. And I've always, to this day, tried to um, trace the whereabouts of the pilots, or who they were on that evening, because they are um, real witnesses to uh, an actual UFO incident that occurred in this area. And the flight path was, was quite amazing, uh, how it hit its afterburners just in the background there. Amazing stuff, and I just thought I'd share that with you. Been meaning to get round to it for quite a while. This is also, as well, the area recorded in my journals uh, back in about 2003, where I drew some uh, images of UFO craft that are possibly meant to come over this area. Although still nothing has happened, and I remain uh, open-minded, in fact even slightly cynical, but I'm wondering uh, if something in this area will come my way. So I just keep plodding on, viewers, and just see what we can discover, and just carry on with it. This is Covert Witness, seeking the answers so you don't have to.